All right, so for the last few weeks of co-building, haven't had much company, but Shane and I have been working hard, so I'll explain how the system works in the bacon box for plumbing. Um, the water is coming in through this inlet here. It looks like this from the outside. It'll have a gravity fill option for when you're filling your tank here, and then your city fill option. We decided that this is going to be too flimsy with plastic connector, and we don't want to have to rely on, like, um, changing that out as plastic, it's likely to break over time. So I'm going to cut out this from the system and, and make it into the hose bib um, on there. Um, so this isn't attached yet, but um, we we actually tested this little guy at the end is actually the swivel connector to to connect the, the, the hose that you're using. So we tested it out with a hose. This allows you to, to change that end of the hose so that you can attach it to the hose bib. So we tested this whole system this weekend and it works. We had no leaks at first. We did have a leak over here um, on my pressure gauge. I didn't tighten it enough and then I just tightened it and now there was no leaks. So anyhow, that's what this little guy is. But the water comes in from the city in this line or we would water fill it into the tank from the gravity fill option. I don't have that quite hooked up all the way but basically there'll be fill that goes right into this tank here and then into from the tank it'll go into the pump and then up these guys are going to connect here and so when it goes through the city it'll be coming up here i've got a pressure relief um valve and then i'll either turn it off um when i'm not using city water or on when i'm using city water if i'm using the tank water i will um let this flow oh, water just came out um and they'll both meet up here and go to my descaler then I've got a, just a pressure valve, so either system that I'm using, whether it be the tank or the city water, I can just check on what the water pressure is and turn it off here if I'm not using this, um, or if it, the pressure is too high. So anyways, after that, the cold water, which is all cold so far, travels down through this crazy copper arm that took me forever to solder, and it, it, it splits off right here. It goes, um, the rest of the cold water system goes this way, um, to use for all the lines, the cold lines, and then it dips under and goes that way, and the hot water heater is located right here. So then it becomes hot water, scoots around here, and then it turns into the PEX, and so I've got my hot lines and my cold lines then running to all my utilities, um, or my appliances, I guess. So then I've got this cold line here um, to my laundry, hot line coming down here to my laundry. I've got a washer-dryer combo unit right here. And then um, it splits off and goes up to go to the shower. So that runs um, runs later. It's all good. Um, to the shower, which isn't finished getting installed yet. But that's where the copper lines will run up and over. And then the, both the hot and cold lines actually run along and then go to my toilet, which will be located in that area. Um, there's a bidet going to go there, which is why I have cold to my toilet, just in case you were wondering. Maybe hot. Um, Sorry, hot and cold to my toilet. Then the copper line will actually continue through this wall here. I've got my um, sink in my bathroom and my kitchen sink right here. So I wanted to have all my drinking water not go through the plastic, so I just tried extra hard to, to um, get at least the water to be fully copper before it w branched off to PEX. Um, just my, my own personal preference. And that is the system as we have it so far. We just got to finish. We're building up a subfloor here. Um, and then all of the drainage will go within the subfloor here so that you walk up into the bathroom.